Hello everyone, my name is Zoe Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and install custom mods into your guys' Beam MP server. It's really straightforward and easy and it is really not complicated. There are so many other types of game servers which is really complicated. Beam MP in particular, super easy. So I'm going to be showing you guys the two main things, how to install a custom car and how to install a custom map mod. Both are really easy, but those two are the different ones. If you install anything else, as long as you guys know how to do this, you'll know how to install literally every other mod ever. So find yourself a custom car mod and a custom map mod, or use the ones that I put down in the description below, which is the ones I'm using in this video. And then very, very simply, come on over to the download now page. Give it a click and wait for the mod to download. Once it's done, you're gonna wanna open it in the folder location. So click the show in folder button right here. We're going to minimize to our desktop. We're going to open our Beam MP server on up. We're going to put both our file explorers side by side. So you have the server and the downloads. We're going to go into resources, into client to install the vehicle. You never would have guessed it. We're going to grab the download for the vehicle mod and simply drag and drop it in. That is it. The mod is in. Your friends who join the server don't need to download anything. When they join the server, it will download it for them. But that is it. You've installed a mod. Super straightforward and easy. Now the map mods are a little bit more complicated, however, still pretty simple. The first step is exactly the same. So grab yourself a map mod. I'm doing this one right here. Again, down in the description below if you wanna use it. It's quite a common one for seeing on YouTube videos. Come on over to download now. Give it a click and let the map mod download. Once it's done, the same thing again. Click show in folder. We're gonna bring that downloads folder side by side, grab the zip and drag and drop it into our client folder. But here is the extra step. So we're gonna to need to go inside of this zip, open it on up using WinRAR or 7-zip or any zip opener. If you guys have a HT network VPS to run your BeamMP server on, it comes pre-installed. But if you don't have a VPS, then very, very simply just Google WinRAR and download it. It's a simple exe. From here, you're gonna to wanna to go into levels and you see this folder name right here, you're gonna to want to copy it. So copy this folder name, control C, so if you were installing a different mod, you just go into levels and copy the folder name of anything inside of here. So it be, could be something different for you, but it'll always be one folder in here and you just copy that name. And then from here, you can close the zip on down, make sure you've still got it on your clipboard. Go back to your BeamMP server and open up your server config. Give it a double click to open it on up. With a HTML VPS, it'll open up in Visual Studio Code, which is a really nice and easy way to view it. If you don't have it, you can welcome to download it. Otherwise you can just open it on up with your typical opener with your typical text opener and now to edit the map really simple i'm going to go over to the map section and right where it says the old map name of grid map underscore version 2 we're going to highlight all of this delete it and paste on in our own map name i'm going to go to file save and just like that we are done we even saw the custom map and a custom car now every other mod if it's an object a car a map mod you now know how to install that is it, you've completed life with BeamMP. Close this on down, start our server on up, and we'll see if our mods have loaded in properly. Just quickly, if you guys have been wondering what I've been going on about when I've been saying a BeamMP HT Network VPS, then I've been talking about my company, HTNetwork.one, where if you come on over to the website down in the description below at www.htnetwork.1 and come on over to the server hosting page, you can grab yourself a Windows VPS, which is what I've been using in this video. It's essentially a virtual Windows PC, just like your own, but you can run any game server off it, anything you want, use it for file storage, etc. It's a really safe and easy way to run a game server. It means you can keep the server online 24 seven without the need to keep your own PC on. You don't have to use your own IP address and put yourself at the risk from DDoS attacks and being tracked down. And you save money and electricity. If you're running a game server, it's gonna rack up your electricity bill. So it's gonna save money. I know it costs money monthly, but trust me, there's so many other things you can do with it as well as just running a game server. You can even run two game servers at the same time or three Minecraft, Beam and P, 5M, anything you want. So if you want to get one of those, check it out down in the description below at www.htnetwork.1. Okay, so when you load up Beam and P and you try to join your server, obviously using your IP or direct connecting, however you normally join your Beam and P server, now going to tell you server mods have been detected. What you got to do is click download and join, and it will start downloading those mods automatically for you. Obviously, it depends on your network speeds, etc. But it means none of your friends or yourself have to install them as well really simple and easy you can see we've got that map mod and the car mod loading in for us and there we go we're loading into our server for some reason you see in the right hand corner there 
beam mp and beam ng gives us error about invalid mod managers etc don't worry about that it doesn't mean anything everything's still going to plan and there you guys go you can also see our custom map mod just like that it's super simple and easy we've just modded beam mp and beam ng really easily and if we go into our cars we should be able to see our custom car mod somewhere along here here it is the hiroshi ccf and we can spawn it on in you and your friends can now drive around custom modded map custom cars and anything else you want to do be sure to check out my company hgnetwork.one if you guys are looking for a more reliable way to host your beam mp server and ensure that you stay nice and safe and also be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see all of you guys in the next one cheers and goodbye